I want to create the game. This is surely about 8 years old me. Little me just finished few really good games and decided to become a game developer in the future. Sounds familiar? I think many of you could tell the same about yourself. You will maybe just change the age. Anyway, we know that I decided to create my own game, you probably too, but what's next? And that was the question that no one could answer me because when I was 8, I could easily say I don't have many friends. Interested in programming, I mean. Because of that, I decided to ask my uncle how to make a game. And I mean Uncle Google, of course. And I got some information, but there were mainly technical tutorials where everyone was focused on creating the game rather than on creating and releasing the game. After a few years in game development industry, I got some experience and now I want to answer myself from the past. What's next? Little Blazy asked. And here is the answer, my little me. I hope you're not scared after this strange introduction. It will be even more so time to accustom or leave this place as soon as possible. Don't do that. Today's topic is do you need to know any programming language to create your game? And the answer is no, but also yes. Okay, that's all. Thanks for today. Bye. There are of course possibilities to create the game without using programming language and many engines support creating game using blocks. For example, GameMaker or Unity or even Unreal Engine. You can use blocks to create logic in your game. All you need to know is how to place them on canvas and what every block is doing. So basically you don't need to know a language. But placing blocks in specified order and structures also needs some skills and you need to think a little like programmer. Programming is industry where you can do one task in 1000 different ways and none of them will be good. This is because you always can have your own solution for the problem. But there are some standards also. For example, no one writes the same code twice or should not write. We use loops, we use functions and there are also some standards when it comes to graphic languages. So knowing programming language isn't obligatory, but it could help because as I said, you need to think a little like a programmer. And the best way to think like a programmer is to learn some programming languages. You will also get into trouble when you have to implement more advanced features in the game and use external libraries. You want some examples? Let's begin with save system. It could be a little complicated to do it using blocks because you will need some structures and you will need to access system memory. But let's say you get this. You will also want to save your game progress in cloud. So you need an external library. And implementation of downloading and uploading functions could be terrible using blocks. Or maybe it would be even impossible. Actually, there are problems even when you don't use blocks. So as you can see, programming with graphic language is a good way to prototype something or to use for some scripts in your game, but maybe not the all of them. Of course, you can start with these blocks and it will be easier to start. But later, if you would like to create more complicated games or get a job in industry, you will have to learn programming languages. Is there anyone who use graphic languages in Corpo? I don't know anyone. So the earlier you will start, the easier it will be. But how to start programming? Hmm. Little Blazy started with C++, which was probably the most popular language, or still is. This is because on many websites or books are informations that this is really good language to create games because its performance is the best and you have good memory management. And of course, it's true, but C++ is also a little hard to learn for beginners. Those texts are relatively old, so they are mostly about creating games using plain code and libraries. Time changed some things and now many companies create games using engines. Those engines work with different languages. For example, if you want to program in Unreal Engine, you need to learn C++. But for Unity, you will need to use C Sharp. However, syntax of these languages is similar. So if you would learn C++, you probably won't have problems with switching to C Sharp. There are also some with totally different syntax, like Python, and if you are familiar with Python, you can try Godot engine because it uses GDScript, which is relatively similar to Python. As I said, I started off learning C++. 
But when I come to Unity, I couldn't use it, so I switched to Unity script, which was something like boosted JavaScript, and is no more supported, so I finally changed it to C Sharp a few years later, and I really like this language. Its syntax is similar to C++, which is a pros for me, but the language is also easier and more object-related like Java, and that's another pros. If you want to start your journey with Unity, you should definitely go ahead with C Sharp. For Unreal Engine, get C++, or you can also try Godot Engine. As I said, it uses GTScript, similar to Python, but it also supports other languages. You can check Godot website too, to get to know which languages are supported. There are some languages supported officially and unofficially, but you can use whatever you want. After all, you need to learn engine-related libraries. This is the most important, so language is just a tool. So how to learn programming language? You will need to start with basics. You need to know how loops works, because I still sometimes meet people writing the same code 20 times for different values instead of using for loop. Why people? Why? You will also need to know how to declare and define variables and methods. You will probably find many courses for C Sharp, C++ or another lang on the internet, but if you're looking for recommendations, try SoloLearn. It's free application available for iOS and Android and for web also, where you can finish basic course in just a few days. But remember, finishing the course will not make you a programmer. No one ever remember. No one. You will just have knowledge about tools you can use, which is really important because there is no worse than not be able to use some tricks because of lack of knowledge about tools that you use. <sighs> My lungs. Who wrote us long line of script? Yes, it was me. To become a programmer, you will need to practice this knowledge you just gained. And the best way to practice this knowledge is just writing the code. So start programming, you will get better with every line you write. When you will back to this code after a few years, you will probably feel cringe. And that's good, that means that you get the progress. Okay, so if you finally know your chosen lang, you need to get basics from the game engine you want to use. Again, I think that you can just learn the basics. Learn how to add new objects and how to script them. For example, if you use Unity, learn what is start and update functions. These are basics and you need to use it in almost every script. This is also generated by default by Unity, so that means that this is really important. Then set your target small game. Start with something simple like Snake or Pong. Just start developing this game. When you will stack on something, for example, if you don't know how to handle the input, just search for tutorial for this and program your input. Proceed next. When you hit another wall, find tutorial for this. After a few days, you will finish your simple game. You can also start with bigger project at the beginning but be aware of not taking too complicated game. I will tell you more about designing in upcoming episodes. If only this will have many views. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Also be careful because with bigger project you will hit more walls. If this happens, just do your best to solve your problems and progress your project. I'm sure that after a few weeks you will be able to create some simple games. The more time you will spend on learning and practicing, the better programmer you will be. I want to teach you also how to find time for your projects, how to plan your creating and publishing progress. There's more to come in next episodes. If you have any questions about game dev, I would like to help you. Just write your question in the comment section on YouTube. I will reply or prepare a separate episode about this. Thanks for joining this podcast-like video. I hope you enjoyed it and get some knowledge from this. I want to tell a few words about me at the end. I'm full-time game developer at day and indie game developer at night, and I'm currently working on Space Shooter mobile game. If you are interested in this, you can subscribe me on YouTube or follow me on Twitter, where I post game dev related posts almost every day. Links for all my social medias you can find on my website blazedev.games. Okay, I think that's all. I need to tell that I'm a little stressed because this is 
probably first video or maybe second where I record myself and as you may know I'm not native English speaker so sometimes I don't know what I want to tell you but I do my best sometimes I uh, read some scripts so I hope you will understand this I believe that if I will record more videos for you I will get even better with it you can hit the thumbs up button below or you can subscribe if you like this content and I hope that we will meet in another episodes in next few weeks and now that's all for today see you soon bye